after two years of waiting, One Piece finally returns. Part two of the epic adventure begins. It's manga time! Yeah! <laughs> This is Master King JC, and One Piece Chapter 598 is out! Yes! Yes! I need some One Piece every once in a while, or else I'll spontaneously combust. That's not good for me. Anyway, new One Piece Chapter came out. This chapter is 24 pages. Yes, that's right, 24 pages. So we get six extra pages of awesomeness in this chapter here. And... Uh, and this is a, this is after the time skip, the two-year time skip. So the straw has have grown a bit. And like I think we've all grown a bit, including me. Notice the mustache. Now, any anyway, now let's start on with the chapter. And that sounds like there's a phone ringing. Never mind. The chapter is more important than the phone. Now we get like a, start with a color spread. Um. And we first thing we see, we pick up right where we left off two years before. The first thing we see is Luffy's hat. It's covered in snow, so it's probably about winter time on that island. And and uh, Luffy goes and picks up his hat. And he's like, it's been two years already, hasn't it? And uh, we see Margaret, who's there, and she's calling out to Luffy's because the boat's ready. Luffy's finished his training. He's stronger now, much stronger. As we notice him walking onto the jungle clearing, we see that there's like this giant, huge ass lion, and I think a gorilla and a crocodile who are like huge as shit. Never mind. As he walks past them, the lion starts to growl at Margaret, but Luffy's like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Can you see that's my friend? And the lion's like, <laughs> so we know Luffy got that hot key in him already. So he's stronger now. And we and we see uh, Hancock and the Boa sisters. They're amazed at how strong Luffy is and how he became the boss of the island in just two years. And um, and Hancock's like all flirting stuff over Luffy, like, oh Luffy, you're so amazing. And, uh, that's my husband right there, and Luffy's like, I'm not marrying you. No thanks. So Luffy's not oblivious anymore about Hancock, you know, swimming over him, so... And he just rejected her. Nice! And Hancock's like, oh, that's Luffy for you. And we go, and... We, and, uh... We learned that, uh... Luffy learned... Luffy's training for really, it didn't take a full two years. It actually took about a year and a half. So Luf so after the year and a half, Luffy just spent half the year on the island to train some more by himself. So that shows you how awesome Luffy is and how powerful his will and determination is. That he, he learned all of Ray's training in a year and a half. In exactly less than, e less than two years. So Luffy, you, Luffy, you're getting more badass now. Come on. Come on, you got more. You got more for us, don't you? you? Got more for us. Now back to the chapter. Luffy puts his hat back on. He says, "All right, let's go." And we get an awesome color spread. It is reminiscent of the first One Piece color spread. You see the entire Straw Hat crew and what they look like right now after the time skip, and we see everyone's design. In fact, here it is, right here. Take a look at it. It looks awesome. We got Luffy, who you guys may notice he has a huge scar on his chest. He's got a huge scar on his chest. He basically didn't change that much, but that much, but he has a scar on his chest, which is awesome. We see Zoro, who has a scar over his over his eye, kind of like a uh, Rayleigh. So I don't know if he's blind in that eye. Maybe, maybe not. But we have to see when he shows up. And we got. We got Usopp, who looks really awesome. He's got this cool hat on. And he got longer hair, you see. He's also a little bit muscular. Mus muscular, yeah, I said that right. And holy fucking shit! Sanji! Sanji! We can see his left eye! Oda revealed the left eye! You can see it! He switched his hairstyle! 
and his eye. It's 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 normal. I thought it was gonna be some crazy Sharingan shit, but no, it's normal. But I'm not disappointed. But it's it's awesome. Sanji's got some facial hair too, and Nami and Robin. Ah, Nami and Robin. What don't I like? Nami's got longer hair, and her boobs have probably gone bigger. Probably went up two bra size. And Robin, oh man, Robin is sexy. Robin it looks so fucking sexy. And Frankie, Frankie looks like he, Frankie looks like he just came back from army train or something. He's just like a fucking tank. Look at him. He shaved off his hair. He shaved off his hair. And Brooke, Brooke looks like he Brooke looks like Brooke looks like a rock star. He got those cool glasses. He's got that awesome crown hat thing. It looks awesome. And Chopper. Chopper didn't change at all. He looks exactly the same. Oh well, it doesn't matter. He's a mascot, so he can't really change that much. Okay, now now it's not time to be focusing on the on the club sprint. Gotta get back to the chapter. Now, we go back to Shabadi Archipelago. And we learn, you know, that uh, you know. Everything's kind of gone back to normal a bit, you know, after two years before with the 11 supernovas, some more supernovas have popped up, you know, making names for themselves. And we also learned that Straw Hat Pirates are recruiting members. Recruiting members? I didn't know, I didn't know Luffy ordered, I didn't know Luffy, uh, was recruiting members so far. Or is he? Now, onward. Um... Now, going on, we see, the first straw hat we see is Brooke. Brooke, who, Brooke is, Brooke is on the island, and he's having his own concert. He's become so popular, they call him the Soul King. The Soul King, the King of Soul. So, he's basically, uh, Skeleton James Brown, basically. So, Brooke, he's having a concert, and he's got this awesome shark guitar, which looks awesome. And everyone's, everyone's in the crowd cheering for him like, So King! And Brooke is on there and, and he's and he's playing his guitar. I'm nothing but balls. I can't sing, but whatever. I can't sing, but I know it's going to sound awesome when it's animated. So, yeah, and everyone's fainting from how awesome he sounds. So Brooke is going to be, Brooke is like, Brooke is like the, what's a rock star I know that's famous? Brooke is like the, Aerosmith of One Piece, basically. I'm trying to think of a uh, more important rock star, but no time. Now, and uh, we move on. We see, we see, we see Sanji. Sanji appears with his new hairstyle and his left eye, which looks, which looks awesome. His eyebrow is like, it's like his regular eyebrow except it's flipped like backwards a bit, and he. And he's eyeing himself a woman. So Sanji, Sanji's really happy to see a woman. He hasn't seen a woman in two years. All he had was gay cross-dressers. So you know how happy he is to finally see a woman for the first time in a long, long ass time. It's like, yes, women! And Sanji's running off and all the cross-dressers are like, we'll miss you, Sanji-kun. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> and then we, uh, we get, and then, um... And then we uh, go back to a bar where we see Nami drinking, drinking there and asking about Marineford. It turns out that G1, which is on the other side of New World, and Marineford switched spots. So they switched. So they're in different spots now than before. So where the Marineford is now, the one that's close to Shabu after Pegolo is now G G1. So they switched spots. Anyway. We see Monkey D. Luffy. But wait, that's not Luffy. It's an imposter. It's the fake Straw Hat Gang. So it turns out this fake Straw Hat Gang has been pretending to be the Straw Hats in order to make names for themselves and get stronger crew members and shit for, since they've been separated. Anyway, uh, the fake Luffy tries to ask Nami to uh, join his crew and Nami's like, no, we get you. I'm waiting for someone. He's like, what, bitch? And all of a sudden, da 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 Usopp comes to the rescue. He's, he's the first one to actually show off a new skill. 
he shoots off uh, the pop greens, one of the pop greens he got from from the iron he was on, and it turns into the giant plant which which grabs the not which grabs the Nami look alike and Luffy look alike and the uh, Soge King look alike imposter guys, and it and it come in the plant, and Usopp looking all cool and so he's like, hey Nami what's up and I was like. Usopp, you look so manly now. And Usopp noticed, yeah, Nami, you look different too. Down there, boing. So, so yeah, and and Usopp notices that the notices Soge King and Pachi's like, what? Soge King, how dare you? And he goes, Luffy, what? And Nami pulls him out of there because they're like, and you know, because not about it. Not to bother with those idiots anymore, and the moment they leave, we, a huge thundercloud appears inside the building and electrocutes those guys, which looks awesome. Nami, Nami didn't even do anything. She just walks out, and a thundercloud appears. She didn't have to pull out her climatic or anything, so we could tell she got way better with. She got way, 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 way better with the weather, with her weather powers and such. <laughs> And uh, we go and we see Shaky and Rayleigh, and Sanji's there, and he learns that uh, he's not the first one to get there. Actually, Zoro is the first one of the Straw Hats to get there, which is kind of ironic since we all know how Zoro's always lost and probably the last person to get anywhere. So he's actually the first one. To, he's actually the first one to get there a few days before. So. So, you know, Sanji's like, what? That shitty swordsman was here? And, and, uh, everyone's, and, and, uh, not only Zoro, but Nami Usopp, Frankie, uh, Chopper, and Sanji, and, what else is it? Brooke, Brooke are there. Brooke are there. The only people who haven't arrived yet are Robin and Luffy. But, wait. We see Robin. We see Robin uh, in the next page. She just appeared. She's being chased by some guys who are trying to track her down, and she's trying to lose them now. And we see Chopper, who runs into the fake Zoro and fake imposter Sanji. He's like, he's like, hey, you guys look different. Oh well, what's up? And Chopper hasn't changed at all, not that much. And we see the imposter Robin, who looks. Who I can't tell is a if it's a woman or a man, but doesn't really doesn't really bother me at all. And they have a fake fox pretending to be Chopper. And when they notice that that's the real Chopper, they decide to get rid of the fox and try to kidnap him. And Chopper and Robin's like, "Come here, Chopper." And Chopper like, "Robin, you're scary!" Ah! <laughs> and then these guys come out of nowhere and kidnap the fake Robin. He's a part of the guys who are actually looking for Robin, whoever they are. And so I was like, Robin's been kidnapped, oh no! And later on, we see the fake imposter Luffy guy. And he bumps and and he shoots these guys, these, this woman and this man who, they, who he thinks is Usopp or Usopp and Nami. And he's, and he's, asking, and he's telling his man to go out and find them. And then some guy bumps into him. And everyone's reacting like, Oh shit, that guy's dead. Does he know who Straw Hat Luffy is? And in, in the fake Luffy's like, Hey, you, wait a minute. And the guy turns around and it's, And it's Luffy. He's like, Hmm. And that is the end of the chapter. Unfortunately, it was against, it, This chapter was amazing. I did not want to end. When I saw the last panel, I was like, That's it? Not to wake up, not to wait another week. No. So what do you guys think of the new chapter? You guys got any thoughts on the new straw hats or what's going on? Any new designs at all? Just comment at the bottom. Anyway, this is Master KJC, and this video is starting to get a little bit too long, but I can't contain the awesomeness in just one video. So this is Master KJC, and keep on keeping on. One piece. Yeah.